So I think now would probably be a good time to mention that I used to be a big collector of a lot of things. Trading cards, certain types of toys, globes, no. Disney memorabilia, um, purses, I guess, at one point. And now yes. we seem to be uh, finding a happy home. Can you show me what you just got, Natalie? Elsa! <laughs> and toy collecting once again. As we just got this cute little Elsa at Toys R Us. And, and it has braids. She has braids. Natalie's very thrilled it about it. It has snowflakes under her hair. And she's got a snowflake too. So Natalie's and very thrilled. And she has thrilled. snowflake under her hair. And she has glass slippers. She has. So Bella is not back there. Bella is with Daddy today. She is jeeping, and they're having a Daddy Daughter Day. No. And we're having a Mommy Daughter Day. And we just found Elsa, and she it's went home no. with us. Elsa so we are out running errands and it's just going to be a little mini vlog today because I hadn't even planned on vlogging. Um, but yeah, you may see the occasional toy video here and there now. I mean, I've always done toy reviews, but um, I think something I'm going to start doing on Thursdays is doing vintage toy reviews because I have some vintage toys that I want to review, like some of my favorites from like the 90s or late 80s. So it's just going to be good fun. If you don't like toys, you can skip over those videos. We're going to be day in the life a lot in April, as per usual. So it's going to just be a big mix of a little bit of everything. But today is our mommy-daughter day. And guess where we have, of course, ended up? We're at Target. We're at Super Target. So we're going to run into Super Target. I just have to figure out how to uh, get Elsa to take a nap in the car. She looks a little tired. No, I'm not tired. Not you, Elsa. What do you think? Do you like Elsa? I Elsa too. Yeah. Oh. And just because I'm not exactly sure of the sequence or the order the things will be uploaded, if you guys watch the mini Frozen blind unboxing, that happened the week just right before this. Today is a Saturday. Hopefully that's in the title somewhere. Um, but that little mini Frozen unboxing where we unbox like an Anna and a Kristoff, that happened a couple days ago. And we have some more of those to unbox, but I think we're just gonna do those in our big surprise egg and blind box, blind bag unboxing. So we're gonna run into Target to go grab a couple of things and just have a hangout Saturday. So we found a ton of stuff at Target. We ended up getting some more of these. And also I got some Easter grass. The Target we were at actually had these as well. I didn't grab any more than one. But they actually had a full box of them, so it's cool to see the Target store and get this stuff. And without thinking, I grabbed these, but we kind of have something similar. Anyhow, I got shirts that were on sale for three for twenty-seven, and some more dip bowls. So that's what we found at Target. So we're actually right next to Trader Joe's. So we're gonna head over there. So we just ran into Trader Joe's, and we're actually kind of down in a different area than we normally would be in. I happened to just randomly stop past the Dollar Tree. I'm giving up on those Hello Kitty eggs. They are not anywhere in the Chicago Lane suburbs. But I dropped down to a Dollar Tree that's down here around the Geneva area. If you're around here, you know where that is. Um, and there was a Trader Joe's like directly across the way. So I was like, oh, we'll just pop over there because I was going to go over to the Trader Joe's in Schaumburg, which just opened, so I'm sure it's a madhouse. So I was like, well, I'll just go to this one because it's right here. We popped in and I love it. <laughs> we used to live right next to Trader Joe's in Michigan, but I didn't really go there that often, if ever. I always went to a different grocery store that was, there was three grocery stores right next to each other basically, and I always went to one particular one. So anyhow, I went in here and I loved it. So we'll have a little bit of a Trader Joe's haul on the end. And I may actually start doing, it's not going to be every single week because it's slightly out of my way, but I may start at least once a month going to Trader Joe's and picking up some things because they had some really cool stuff and the prices were pretty cheap in my opinion. So anyhow, that was pretty cool. The one thing I didn't get that I wish I would have got, they had like her herbs uh, planted and I wish I would have got a planted cilantro plant just because we eat so much cilantro. But anyhow, we're gonna go home because she's getting tired. No. Yeah, and her Elsa just broke. She just broke the snowflake off Elsa, so we have to glue it when we get home. Did you like Trader Joe's? No. Yeah, she she did when we were in there. They gave her cheese. I broke it. Yeah, you broke it. Show me Elsa. Her snowflake came off. This my hand. Yeah, her snowflake came off of her hand, so now Natalie's sad. I got a snowflake off his hand. This little thing came off of. 
Elsa's hand and it doesn't it's not meant to pop off just snapped off so we're gonna have to glue it when we go home oh it's not it's not she said it's ruined it makes it bad it's not ruined Natalie it's gone code level drama queen in the back seat so anyhow we're gonna go home and I'll do a Trader Joe's haul when we go home so we are back home I'm gonna put all of these things away and I guess this randomly has turned into a haul video so the main thing that I'm gonna show you is Trader Joe's and I also stopped past Walmart and I ended up picking up some things for our Cinderella party that we're gonna be doing this week at Trader Joe's I picked up oh, there's macarons right on top um, I ended up picking up food and then I got Easter basket stuff so Isabella is still gone with my husband and Natalie is otherwise occupied so if that stays that way I will show you the Easter basket stuff as well so let me show you the Trader Joe's stuff real quick so this is what I got at Trader Joe's and I have to say I loved it I think I'm gonna start driving there more often like I think I said earlier it's a little bit out of the way it's not as convenient as just going to where the grocery store is but I may try to get there a little bit more often so I didn't get a ton of produce and everything because I'll probably just get that at the grocery store tomorrow um, and I wasn't sure how long we we're gonna be out but I had to get some of these chocolate and vanilla macarons i would have rather had the rainbow ones but the trader joe's i was at was out of them so if i stop by the one in schaumburg at some point i may try to get it said like assorted flavors so i may try that one but i picked up this while i was there in the frozen section and i got some of the soft pretzel stick bread because we all like pretzels so i got some of that for us to try i picked up some bruschetta we all love bruschetta so i wanted to try this and the price was super reasonable like two or three bucks for this huge thing i couldn't believe the prices it was so cheap and then i got these diced and fire roast tomatoes i figured i could use this in some sort of recipe i got two kiwis I picked up this head to toe balm. Now I don't watch um, grocery hauls super often, which I know is probably odd considering how uh, regular I do them. Um, but I have seen this on my Facebook feed of all places a ton. So I decided to try this as the head to toe balm, moisturizing balm. And uh, I think just based on how many times I've seen it in my Facebook feed, I think it works pretty good. So I also got these cookies. They're cinnamon school book cookies. And we have seen these at a play date or something before. So I got those. Natalie was excited about the letters. And I also picked up a bag of avocados. So that is everything I got at Trader Joe's. It was about $21 worth of stuff. So pretty reasonable. Then at Walmart, I got some party goodies. I wasn't actually planning on going to Walmart. But I just randomly decided to stop in to see if they had some... The blind bag stuff is what I was stopping to see if they had different. But we didn't find that. But I did pick up this burlap. These were on clearance for $2 each. And I really like this turquoise color. So I got these to make a wreath out of these for spring and then while I was already in there I decided to pick up the things for a Cinderella party because I found these plates that I thought would be cute and then I also found this Cinderella wooden dress up thing by Melissa and Doug back in the toy section so I thought that would be a neat addition to the little mini party they're going to do with just my girls picked up some blue decorating icing I'm going to use this dual purpose for possibly putting the surprise eggs back together but then also to decorate cupcakes some writing gel to use for eyes on a little mouse treat that we may try and the almonds are also for mouse ears if I get around to doing that and then I picked up some blue six lights as an accent Natalie picked out chocolate cake for the cupcakes and then also white frosting and I got this just because it looked cool it's a uh, Wilson color mist you can actually make the cupcakes silver so I just thought that that would look kind of fairy godmotherish and kind of magical so I got that to try so I'll let you know what we think about that so that's all pretty much for the Cinderella party and this is also for the party I'm gonna have them do a little dot paint activity kind of like if we had those dot paint like literally the things where you just dot but we're gonna use this with the washable paint I'm just gonna have them dip in blue paint and they're gonna dot paint Cinderella's dress so I picked up those so that was everything at Walmart it was about 40 ish dollars worth of stuff and we stopped in the Dollar Tree again looking for those Hello Kitty eggs did not find them I think that I'm done I'm tired I'm sick of looking at them but um I got these dum-dums for Natalie for like just a potty reward or whatever so she had one of those in the car so we went ahead and opened them and then at Target I think I kind of already showed what I got at Target earlier but I got this Easter basket grass you guys are going to be having an Easter basket video coming up soon those I got three tank tops in gray and then this great turquoise color got some more blind bags Got this little guy. I was excited about finding that at a Target. Target I usually go to doesn't 
have those, I don't think. And then I picked up two more dip bowls. I have four of these already, and so this will make six. So I think I'm good now. I just wanted to get an extra. I love these things. I absolutely love them. Just in case I have one that breaks or whatever. Um, so that's everything I got at Target. And also, I think most Targets have these Sheriff Callie's blind bags, too. Because the past couple Targets I've been in have had those. So I picked up two of those while I could find them. And then, this is the super secret Easter. I tried to just sneak around. And so you guys will see all this in the Easter basket. I'm going to be doing a review and kind of project on these Orbeez. They did this at Isabella's Preschool and it was really cool. It was so cool. This is a great sensory activity. So this is actually a side note. Um, the colors in this are teal, orange, and blue. So maybe I'll try to do this as a part of our Cinderella party. But in any case, we're going to do this at some point and it was a really cool activity. Um, so I'll show that in a video because they're really cool. It's kind of a simple idea, but it, the kids were going bonkers over it. And I've looked at these before at Toys R Us. And I've been like, ah, oh, should I get them? Should I not get them? And they were really cool. So we're going to try those. And then I also picked up a big thing of Shopkins. Every single place around me is sold out of the little ones. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm going to try to zoom through this real quick before I have too much help. Anyhow, I got one of these big things because every single place around us is out of just the little baskets. But this has a basket in it. So I got this. I had a coupon for $10 off. So that's why I ended up going to Toys R Us. And you guys are going to see all this in there. Basket stuff. But we got sunglasses. Frozen sunglasses. Because we're always needing sunglasses. And palace pets. And these cute little floaty things. For the and these. Chocolate. So I will fill you in on that in a future video. But oh my gosh. This is like the cutest palace pet ever i love this like i want this it's so cute it's a peacock i love this i saw this at target later on too so anyhow you guys will be seeing all that later on so if you guys enjoyed this impromptu vlog day and turned into a haul and we went to trader joe's and that was exciting um so i think i'm definitely going to go to trader joe's in the future i really really liked the vibe i liked what i saw and the prices seemed really good too so Thumbs up for that. So thanks for hanging out with me today. And I will see you soon in another video. And I will be vlogging a good portion of Veda, I think I mentioned earlier. Um, I'm going to be all going back and forth. I'm going to do a separate video. We have a lot going on right now. Which is, we have a lot going on. So I just need to do a separate video on each separate subject. Just because it works better for my brain. Um, but a lot of, a lot of things going on. And, um... But anyhow, I think just as a fun project for myself, I'm going to be doing like vintage toy reviews just because it's kind of fun and I've been kind of been able to relive my childhood or whatever you want to say. Um, so those are going to be coming up. I'm going to do those on Thursdays, I think. So that'll be a part of VEDA as well. So thanks so much for watching today and have a great day. Bye.